Good morning, guys. So, I am getting my nails done today. Nails by Chai. I'm going to leave the uh, link down in the description box. But look, she got a gang of shit. I'm probably going to get some lashes, too. I'm going to show you guys how it looks when it's done. We're actually almost done. And then today, I'm just... After this, I'm going to get my teeth whitened. And I'm getting... Mm -hmm the non-invasive uh non-invasive brazilian butt lift so i'm gonna show you guys that too but for some reason my camera isn't charging like i think i need to get a new charger because it's still only on one bar but yeah um so when my nails are done i'll show you guys and i will leave her info down in the description box i am gonna get okay so y'all know my nails be fucked up so i'm gonna get she doesn't use acrylic it's all gel so every time I be getting my nails done and they break, the artist is like, oh, or or if I post and, and tell you guys, like, this is why my nails are fucked up, just because they're always fucked up, you guys are like, you need to try all gel. You need to try gel. It's better, it's stronger, and blah, blah, blah. But I could never find anybody that just uses gel instead of using acrylic. Like, I've only ever had acrylic, not all gel nails. So I'm excited to see how this lasts. And I'm going to do daily updates on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, at goods with three O's. I'm going to post on my story to give you guys like daily updates so y'all can see how these hold up. Because all gel, no acrylic. And I'm using an acrylic, and you know that shit will last me. Like I'll have a full set for like three days. And then probably one or two nails pop off. And then I'll be having eight nails for like a week. And then the rest of them pop off. So we're going to see how long this lasts. I'm hoping that it lasts long because I have got a lot of recommendations to try all gel because it probably will work better for my nails. So I'm excited. I'm going to do updates. So make sure you follow me. Make sure you follow Nails by Chai. Info in the description box. And yeah, I'll show you guys how they come out in a second. see the flash go up but I'm not getting it. Okay. Just keep them apart or put them apart. Yeah. to put the link in the description box and like I said follow me on Instagram so you guys can see my updates but yeah these are fly look get into it y'all gonna see them I'll, I'm gonna post a video on my Instagram too so yeah I'll check in with y'all when I'm on my way to my teeth whitening appointment again <laughs> yeah yeah a little bit <laughs> I should have recorded that. Okay, so, um, look crazy. I got this thing around. I'm getting my teeth whitened. I audied ADR. I'll hardly tell you guys later that this is what we're doing. Alright, so I'm going to start with the vitamin E oil. This is for a protectant for your gums. Okay.
Great, styling. Look great. Oh, I'm gonna have eyelashes. Oh yeah, fix it up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one. Okay. 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 Teeth look nice and white now. <laughs> Okay, so I was doing the teeth whitening. I finished that. And um, I didn't know she just got these new massage chairs. Fire. So uh, I had the massage thing going and I was getting my teeth whitened. And now <coughs> I'm doing the non invasive Brazilian butt lift. So it's basically like this machine and it's like. It just feels like suction, basically. So, it doesn't hurt. Um, there's no, like, healing time or anything like that. Uh, this isn't the first time that I got this done. So, I will link her Instagram page down below because my before and after pictures are already on there. I took before pictures this time. So, then I'll post. She'll probably post, like, another before and after in a few weeks. So I already have one before and after up and then she'll probably post the other one. So yeah, I'll leave the link in the description box. This is, she's located not far from the strip. So if you guys want to come when you're visiting or if you're local in Las Vegas, then you guys can get this done. Both of them are super, like they work. Like it's not no bullshit or anything. When I got my teeth whitened the first time, it was like so good. People were asking me when I got my, who I got my teeth whitened for. Who? People were asking me who I got my teeth whitened by for months because uh, they stay so white and yeah it's been a while it's been like it's been over a year since I got it done last time so I'm getting it done again um when I was getting the uh, Brazilian butt lift procedures done I think I don't know it's been like a few weeks or a few months since I came so I'm excited about that but yeah it basically like literally lifts your butt up so all the procedures that I've gotten done, they work really well. Um, you just take a few minutes out of your day to come get it done, and then you don't have to worry about it for a while. 
So yeah, I will leave the link in the description box. Make sure you guys check her out. Okay, so I'm in Walmart now. Of course, I only came here to get like lash glue and some wine, but of course I ended up in the makeup section. So I'm like, keep on seeing new concealers and shit that I haven't tried before. So I wanna get a new concealer because I'm pretty much out. How much is it in here? But I'm sitting here looking dumb because I'm like, these look like they are the same color. So this is medium light and this is light. And if anything, this one looks more yellow, but it looks the same exact color. So the, the tube is clear. If you can see, there's kind of like a crack. Like if you squeeze it, like look, you can tell the tube is clear, right? So it's like this one look lighter and it look more it look more yellow. I was gonna try the I never tried anything from this hard candy brand. Like I swear to god this shit used to be way more expensive than it is now. But all this stuff is super duper cheap. Like I think I never tried it because I thought it was expensive. I used to get all my makeup from Walmart. Like once upon a time, I used to only get makeup from Walmart. So I don't know why I've never tried it. But I think I'm gonna try this concealer. So I was gonna try the Milani one. Oh. These are the three I got. I've used this one before, so I was gonna put it down. And I was gonna try the Milani Conceal and Perfect because I used the Conceal and Perfect foundation before and it was good. But I think I'm gonna put both of these down and try this one. This is only six dollars, so we're gonna try that. I got the Maybelline Fit Me. Um, I got the Maybelline Fit Me powder. That worked really good. I get the color Fair because like the the light one is like a little more pinkish. But yeah, they have like palettes. Like all this stuff is like five dollars, six dollars. But I think I'm only gonna get the concealer because that's all I really need. And yeah, I gotta find this freaking. I gotta find this lash glue, and then I'm gonna get out of here because I always do this. I'll be coming in here for one thing, and then end up spending a lot. Oh, and my camera's on low battery, so yeah, I'm gonna get my stuff and get the fuck ASAP after this shit. Oh, Jesus. So I fucking went in Walmart. I told y'all I was going in Walmart to get one fucking thing. I went in Walmart to get some goddamn eyelash glue. Why did I leave Walmart spending a hundred dollars? You fucking motherfuckers. God, y'all should have told my ass to get the fuck ASAP. Y'all should have told me what I said. What I said was I'm finna get this makeup. I'm finna get this eyelash glue and then get the fuck ASAP. And then y'all didn't tell me. Here I am a hundred hours later. Bitch done bought French toast sticks. Cat food. Motherfucking uh, toothpaste. Like the stuff I got was essential so I didn't need to get it. But, damn. That be that shit. You go into Walmart or Target, one of them places, and end up spending hella fucking money. Then I have to stop at Burger King. I've been trying to charge this fucking camera, and I need to get a new charger, I guess, because this shit will not get above. This shit will not get above one bar like I promise you oh yeah I'm hungry as fuck so I'm gonna take myself home and eat this food and then I'm gonna grab my shit together so I can go to Brit Brits and we can get lit lit cause I'm over it I've been running around all day I left the house at 9.40 a.m. it is 5.40 p.m. yeah i gotta go plus i'm going live tonight on instagram if y'all don't know i go live friday saturday and sunday on instagram sometimes i miss a day but i come back the next day if i miss that day you know what i'm saying 
So, hella people have been asking me when am I going live or whatever. So, I'm going to get ready so we could go live. Okay, so I finally got my shit charged more than a bar or two. And now I am on my way to my friend Brittany's house. So we can get ready. We're going to get on live and get fucking tired. We're going to get turned up. Um... Yeah, we're gonna get turned on live and then we're gonna go to Seamless and get fucking lit. So it should be fun. Like I said, I do my lives on the weekends. Usually, if I do it during the week, it's just extra. But follow me on Instagram. As long as you have my post notifications on, you will never miss a freaking video. So you won't even have to worry. But yeah, uh, I will let you guys know when I get there and be getting ready and stuff. I'm just going to make this little drive. Be there in a few minutes. We out here. Gang, 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 gang. Y'all should have been on our live. If you wasn't on our live, then you're stupid. Come to my live at dgoods 3 os on Instagram. Is it smoke? Is it focusing? Okay, so I did my whole life. I did my makeup. Probably doesn't look the same color on here. That's fine. It does look the same color on Instagram, but it looks good in person. I was like, damn, daddy, sweet it up. We're going to stop somewhere for my friend's birthday, and then we're going to the motherfucking spot. So, yeah, I just want to show y'all. I'll probably clock back in in a second, but I just want to show y'all something. If I go up here, maybe it might look better. People. I'm leaving the fucking season list. These motherfuckers got me fucked up. I don't know why the fuck niggas would ever think I'm finna chit chat with them. I'm not here to chit chat, bro. I'm here to have a good time. If you're not finna throw no money or you're not finna do nothing, leave me the fuck alone. All, every nigga. Every nigga, hey, if I'm going to my event, you could you could come say hello, you can do whatever you gotta do, but I'm not there to chit chat. If you a girl, if you're a female, come say what's up to me. We'll probably fuck it up. But other than that, if you a nigga, look, hello. Don't come up to me if you not doing nothing. Cause I'm not fucking with you. I'm not fucking with all these niggas. I'm not even a stripper, but you better be doing something. If you're not doing nothing, then don't come up to me if you're a nigga. If you're a girl, cool. That's a whole different story. If you're a nigga, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay? Because I don't like that. If you're a nigga, the rules are fucking different. You say hello or whatever and keep it pushing. I'm not here to fucking chit chat and fucking do that shit with niggas. I'm not here for that. I'm really not. And if you're a nigga, you will know that. Like, hi and bye, my nigga. 